have a short attention span. For example, when I walk through museums, I tend to take in a lot of information quite quickly. But the downside to that is, I get overwhelmed, then I get bored, and then tired just as easily. Or whenever I purchase a DVD from a thrift store, I look at the duration of the film. If it's longer than one and a half hours, I need a break or two in between or I don't purchase the film at all. But for this week's film, I'd like to talk about the attention span of any creation. The idea is the easiest part of the process, in my opinion. You write down what you'd like to do, what you'd need, and the steps for your creation. Don't hold back. There's always room for improvement. Just remember, it will never be perfect. So better just stop when it's good enough. And there is such a thing as planning too much. This might be daunting, but it's best to start right away. With the following step you collect your materials, products, tools, whatever you might need and start your production process. You should be proud of yourself if you completed this first task. Because 90% of all people won't get past the idea part of the creation. This is the most exciting and fun part of the creation. It's, it's a new, new project. project. I'm gonna have so many ideas. ideas. New, new day. day. Everything, Everything is being great. Right. This is the part where a distraction or some other hurdle will throw itself onto you. You'll find yourself questioning your motives. You're not quite sure about some things anymore. I can, I can make, make this, I can make right. right. Do, Do I like this? this? Will this be worth my time? time? I hope it turns out. You'll get tired, focus starts to fade, doubt will consume you. But don't let it come back for seconds. It's up to you whether you even let it stay after appetizers. You've hit rock bottom. Insecurities will attack. You feel like giving up or quitting. This is late. I'm tired. This won't come. Why bother But as you might have experienced in life, a lot of things you did 10 years ago are lame now, and nothing will come out as expected. So why bother giving in to those thoughts? And this is where almost 99% of all people stop and never finish what they started. Then this could happen within a whole project, within a part of a project, or just a production day. And all you need to do to get out of this is to not stop. Keep going and push through. Trust the process. You push, you fight and struggle your way through your creation. This is the part you'll learn the most from. You gain energy, focus, rising excitement and you're willing to finish your project again. Trust, Trust the process. process. Keep going. going. I'm a better person. I'm not going back, back to the kitchen. This is going to be the best thing I've ever created. created. This curve that I'm talking about, which is kind of similar to the Dunning-Kruger effect, can also be translated to different scenarios in life. And it's repetitive. You could even have like multiple peaks in a day or in a year. And in some cases, this curve might not even start at the beginning. But I guess my conclusion with this film is, 
whatever you do, you will find this curve. And as long as you find fulfillment somewhere along the way, you gotta keep pushing. You need to trust the process. You look at the marks, you look at the spots, you look at the blemishes, and you look at the evidence of the fight between you and yourself. You've risen, you've fallen, and you're either proud or ashamed of what you've done. But regardless of the outcome, you came, you saw, you conquered. You trusted the process.